trouble after trouble. After Netflix, Spotify finally put end to Meg's deal made her cries bitterly. Meghan Markle has been warned there could be damaging consequences if she released a podcast that doesn't meet the expectation of the public. The Duchess of Sussex is expected to release her first podcast produced exclusively for Spotify this year. The streaming giant announced in March Meghan's first audio program would be titled Archetypes. Spotify said the podcast would be released this summer, without specifying a date. However, more than four months after the podcast's trailer sparked a frenzy, Meghan has not yet released the final product. Brand and reputation management expert Eric Schiffer believes the wait is due to the fact the Duke and Duchess want to make sure they are only releasing products of great quality. To get this first release wrong, the California-based commentator said, could endanger their careers in entertainment. Mr. Schiffer does not believe the wait is putting off Meghan's fans who will continue to be eager to listen to archetypes whenever she is ready to release it. Rather, he suggested, it's wise for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's future with Spotify if they take time to polish their products. He told Express.co.uk, I imagine they are working on making sure that it's a product of excellence so that it's not a threat to the survival of their partnership with Spotify, and it won't be the kiss of death of their entertainment career. They are focusing on quality right now. He continued, if you try to get a career in entertainment and your shows are bombing, that doesn't help you. Nor does it help the partnership with Spotify. Mr. Schiffer added Megan will have many people analyzing every single detail of her podcast given her popularity across the globe. He added, they are going to be careful and making sure that it is done with quality. Her base will be there when it's out. Meghan and Harry announced to have signed a multi-year deal with Spotify in late 2020. This partnership will see the pair produce content, through their audio-first production company Archul Audio, aimed to uplift and entertain audiences around the world and spotlight diverse perspectives and voices. The Sussexes have so far released only a special holiday episode at the end of December two years ago, during which they reflected on the year just passed. They also had an array of celebrity guests, including Sir Elton John, sharing their stories and thoughts. The end of the episode also featured Archie Harrison, the Sussexes' son, wishing listeners a happy new year. As announced in the spring, archetypes will investigate the labels that try to hold women back and feature historians and experts to uncover the origin of these stereotypes and have uncensored conversations with women who know all too well how these typecasts shape narratives. The one-minute trailer released in March featured the Duchess voice. Meghan Markle has been blasted as being calculated and driven by fame and wealth despite having no talent. This allegation has been put forward by Lady Colin Campbell, in her interview with GB News. There, she offered comparisons between the Duchess of Sussex and Rebecca Vardy. She was quoted saying, We seem to have a whole slew of really rather tiresome, very opinionated women, who seem to have made their way in life through talents which are not immediately apparent, and they think they're the best thing since sliced bread. And they know everything. She also accused the royal of possessing narcissistic tendencies and claimed, she's very calculating and I think that if he had not been a Prince Henry of Wales, she wouldn't have given him two minutes, much less the length of time she intends to give him. Yes, of course, she was very committed to being self-serving, but only self-serve. Public service? Not a chance. This is a woman who, in my opinion, everything is calculated and it all comes down to status, and bucks and attention. Notice how dexterously she moved him from the royal family to California, she has clearly decided that she wasn't going to give her time or her energy to the British people or was serving humanity when she could serve her financial interests in a community property state, where in the event of a divorce she gets a whopping 50%.